Hello and welcome to the channel. If you are new here, this is my 2005 Subaru Impreza. It's basically just an Impreza with a wing. But anyways, today we're going to be installing a Cobb 4-bar map sensor. So although I don't think that we're going to utilize the entirety of this sensor, being I'm not exactly sure how many PSI that would be, but this car used to have a 3.5 bar on it, and I just figured might as well upgrade before it hits the dyno and all that should be coming hopefully sooner than later. So we're going to swap out the stock one, put this one on and get started. Dive right in, try and make this short and sweet. Here's everything that's included with the kit, all the hardware and an Allen key. There's the sensor itself. The reason why I went with this one is because it plugs directly into the factory wiring. There's the adapter with a big old C for cob on it, and then uh, thread sealant, and there, that's what, yeah, that bag was in there. That was in that bag, there we go. Of course, two decals, and the note that says thank you for your purchase. This is fairly easy, removal-wise. Usually I like to push the plug in a little bit into the sensor or whatever sensor we're messing with just because it likes to, uh, well, take some tension off the clip. Look at that. Disassembly. Super easy. Over here at my workbench, we got thread sealant. And of course we got the sensor and adapter here. So Oh yeah, that's how that's how these go. Ooh. Almost made a mess. We're just going to give it a touch cuz yeah. I don't want to go too tight with it, but I also want to, you know, get it fairly, I'll probably give it a quarter turn, maybe half turn, and I still want the plug-in to be somewhat uh, clocked in the right direction. Got this here, got that there, I wiped that off, not like it's going to make too much of a difference. Okay. All I did was pretty much hold the adapter and then give it mm, a little bit of a turn. <clears throat> we also got some super lube that I'm just going to put a dab around the O-ring and wipe that just so it'll slide in easier, make a little bit of a better seal. And nice and easy just going to plop that down is that is that it huh feels weird well I buttoned it down and zip tied that back over because I don't really have a better place for that to go and although there's a little bit of a gap the o-ring seems like it's set in there and i say i'm going to leave it be and see what happens i will make note of it to the tuner when we go to have this tuned in other news we got injectors going in soon and a few other things and then it's off to the dyno so if you want to see this on the dyno doing all that and you want to follow the projects then I guess, you know, you know what to do. As for anything else, that is it. We'll see you later, and I hope you have a good one. Bye!